Congratulations! Uh, scared me. Found a hidden treasure. <laughs> oh yes, but you had no idea how much work it took for me to unearth this thing. Oh, I think I can um, plant a few potatoes in this amount of dirt. <laughs> you should have seen it earlier. I actually found an entire uh, civilization of dust mites underneath everything. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Maya, uh, oh, what, what are you that? doing? What is that thing? Good, good. I need to pronounce yeah. it. Well, that's just one of the many search engines that you can actually use to find any information that you want on the oh. internet. So here's how it works. All you have to do is type in a keyword, let's say, keyword. Okay. Okay. judge, and just click that button, search, and immediately it links wow. you to endless information. It's amazing, right? Yeah. So I'm just using it to find some additional references for my lesson plan. So what are we going to search for next? Okay, we just go back to this search and what's what's the name? Ritzert. Ritzert. And then you just click search or just press the enter button. Okay. And there you go. It has a picture. Ah, I'm loyal to encyclopedias and textbooks. Well, I'm not about to depend on that one-click info search, whatever. Engines! <laughs> okay, whatever you call them, they're all the same. So you're still using those ancient scrolls? I mean, I think those were copyright, copyrighted way before the Philippines was colonized. My God, I can't believe you're insulting these books. And to think once upon a time you relied upon them. As a matter of fact, you even used to hang out at the library after class hours. Oh, come on, Mrs. Navarro. I mean, you have to admit that some of the information in these research materials, they're obsolete, they're passe. Time has changed, you know. Information is so dynamic, so diverse. It just, it, every generation, it just changes, you know. So why don't you just come over and join us? No, thank you. Uh, I'm not going to have anything to do with that search engine business. I think I'll work on my lesson plan. Suit yourself. Oh,
Wow, you all sound so chipper and so invigorated. Okay, please take your seats. Alrighty, now that that's... Why do you have a TV, ma'am? What are we going to watch? Cartoons! <laughs> Actually, let's settle down. I brought this TV in because I want us to watch a documentary related to our lesson today. Alright? Is it an animation? No, it's not. It's an educational video. Alright? So I want you all to just sit down, pay attention, listen attentively, and keep quiet. Alright? Mom, can we get watching? <laughs> Last time I checked, this is still a classroom and not a movie theater. Alright? So I want you to all remember that this is still a regular classroom session and you have to pay attention. That's what I expect. But Mom, what's the video about? This video is actually um, a documentary. Um, you'll see. And all of your questions will be answered once you watch it. Okay? Are we going to write a reflection paper about it? Ma'am, who is the man in the video said I shall return? And where will he return from? Okay, um, you know what? I'll answer your questions next time. Just save all of your questions for the next meeting. Uh, we'll discuss it during our next class, all right? I hope you enjoyed our film viewing today. All right, so goodbye, class. Okay. <laughs> What went wrong with Miss Virgie's class? When any form of technology is used in the classroom, it should be properly integrated with the lesson through the use of different classroom activities and teaching strategies. Let's see what Miss Maya will do in her class. Good morning, Miss Maya. Good morning. Wow, the last time I've seen one of those was on the museum. Well, I'm sure that a lot of you must be wondering what this is, right? Yes. Well, this is a cassette player from back in 1974. 